The Belle Isle Zoo was established in 1895. In 1910, it was named the Detroit Zoo. In 1956, the Detroit Zoo moved out to its current location in Royal Oak and left the Belle Isle Zoo to be a children's petting zoo. In 1980, the place was rebranded as Safari Land, and this is where the zoo gained the unique look that would leave a lasting impression on hundreds of thousands of Detroiters, and maybe hundreds of urban explorers. Industrial designer Robert Bruce Garbutt designed the zoo's revamp, which featured elevated wooden walkways and these crazy iconic wooden dome shelters. Financial troubles that plagued Detroit caused Safari Land to close down in 2002. The whole structure has been sitting here since then, locked away behind chain link fence in the middle of the island, slowly rotting and withering away. You'll recall 1956 is the year the Detroit Zoo moved out of Belle Isle into the suburbs. Coincidentally, 1956 is also the year science fiction author Richard Matheson wrote a short story called Steel, which would go on to be adapted into a 2011 film called Real Steel. It's a heartwarming tale of Rock'em Sock'em robots with Wolverine and the girl from Lost, and the first big battle was filmed here at the old Belle Isle Zoo. This place has been an urbex destination for years, but it's got a different vibe than other abandoned locations frequented by urban explorers. Packard, Fisher Body Plant 21, any of the myriad Detroit schools or churches left abandoned for decades. 
This entire island is a park, a state park run by the Department of Natural Resources. It seems like a lot of times the DNR has nothing to do but drive around the island looking for things amiss. Anytime someone posts photos from the old zoo on social media, someone invariably shares the safety warning video the DNR produced a couple years ago. It's a very well done video, great drone shots, and it just explains how the DNR doesn't want you to get hurt. And how they don't want to get hurt coming after you. I know that it's, it's kind of an area that's uh, popular amongst the younger people to come in and take pictures. and It's not a safe location. Um, it's definitely an area that's off limits to the public just because of the safety hazard. So if you uh, walk around, you can just see, you know, uh, holes in the ground, you know, manholes without covers on them. You, the boardwalk is completely deteriorating. You know, buildings are collapsing, crumbling. The concrete in some areas are unstable, so it's just it's a it's a, a dangerous dangerous place on the park. And you can be walking, and uh, board may look like it's solid, but rotted underneath, and you don't see it because it's underneath, and you just fall through. And if, if you hit your head and pass out, and next thing you know, you could potentially drown. And people will try and sneak through some of the uh, closed off gates that we have, and and you know, they find a way to get in. <laughs> So, um, I mean, it can be anywhere from a trespassing ticket, depending if, you know, it's a multiple offense issue or something like that. The uh, uh, tickets can, can get pretty substantial. The fencing, the gates, everything is there to protect you. And when you come into this, this space, not only are you putting yourself at risk, uh, but you're also putting the employees of, of Belle Isle whether it be, you know, the conservation officers, whether it be a park ranger or, you know, one of our other staff that have to come in and, and find you to ask you to leave, uh, you're putting us at risk. As with all my videos, you guys know I'm not here to break stuff, steal or vandalize. I'm just taking pictures, man, shooting video, trying to do something cool and lasting in these places that once touched so many people's lives, trying to make them last just a little bit longer. Nothing but love and respect from Pine Top Jackson.